Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the best tutorials on data analysis and visualization. In today's video, we'll be diving into GraphPad Prism, a powerful tool used for scientific graphing and statistical analysis. Specifically, we'll guide you through the process of generating heat maps using GraphPad Prism. So, let's get started. Heat maps are powerful visual representations that provide a quick and intuitive way to analyze and interpret complex data sets. They are widely used in various fields, including scientific research, data analysis, business intelligence, and more. By using color gradients to represent data values, heat maps enable us to identify patterns, trends, and correlations in large data sets at a glance. To generate a heat map in GraphPad Prism, we first need our data in a contingency table like the one displayed. Once you have your data in this format with the proper column and row labels for the heat maps, go to Insert and then choose the option New Graph of Existing Data. A dialog box will pop up. You have to choose the option grouped in the kind of graph drop down menu and then select the heat map option. You are given four different heat map types, but the most widely used is the green to red gradient. Once you have that one selected, press OK. You can then customize your heat map by double clicking on it and customize its colors, the labels displayed, among many other options. Congratulations! You successfully generated a heat map in GraphPad Prism. Now it's time to analyze and interpret your results. Take a closer look at the heat map and observe any patterns or trends that emerge from your data. And there you have it a comprehensive tutorial on generating heat maps using GraphPad Prism. We hope this video has provided you with the knowledge and skills necessary to create meaningful visualizations for your scientific research. Remember to explore other features of GraphPad Prism, as it offers a wide range of tools for data analysis and presentation. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials on data analysis and visualization.